Sim, 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 sim. Próxima volta a Hollywood, ok? Grazie. Glad you could join me. Today I'm in the beautiful little town of San Damiano d'Asti. It means literally San Damiano of Asti because it's in the province of Asti. And it's a beautiful little historic town. There's always something going on here, festivals, there's car festivals and, and music and wine, truffles. Very friendly people. It has beautiful historic cafes like this one I'm in now. And it's a beautiful place to live close to. And that's why I brought you here, is to show you this amazing house that's come up for sale, just up on the hills here, just five minutes from here. It has three bedrooms, three bathrooms, and it has the most amazing views, I think. Ah, have I ever seen? Maybe, because it really is absolutely beautiful. So what I do first is show you a little bit of San Damiano so you know what's here, and then we'll take the ride up in the beautiful hills and I'll show you the house. And by all means, at the end, send me a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you're looking for. Piemonte is entering a really interesting phase. Tourism is growing. Interest from international buyers is at a level we've never ever seen before. So now is the time to buy before it gets too crazy or you can't find houses like this one. Because I promise you this one is a really great one. It's a turnkey property. You can start enjoying it immediately. So let me finish my coffee and we'll hit the road. So here we are at the house. It's an independent house, no other houses attached, and it's in this most beautiful setting. I promise you that my photography and video really don't do the view justice. It really is something beautiful. You can see it's on top of a hill, so it has this commanding view, and it's surrounded by hazelnut orchards and vineyards and beautiful green rolling hills.
Here's the location of the house here, coming from behind the house in this little hamlet. Very, very quiet place. Some beautiful houses here. Now, the first thing you may have noticed is this tree. And the tree has died. And the owner is going to get this cut down and just leave a stump. And you've got this beautiful little room below. We'll come to that toward the end. That's a real surprise. And then we have even the caravan can be bought with the house. It's a nice little place to sit, but if you didn't want it, there's no problem. And there's lots of outdoor space to relax, the portico for cars as well. It's just a really nice house, not too big, not too small. A really beautiful country home, a great place to come for long periods of time. Or even to live here permanently. I live just 15 minutes from here and I can tell you it's a really beautiful place to live. In fact, here you, you're in sort of a triangle of towns. You have Cisterna d'Asti, just to the right of where we are now, Canale and San Damiano. And then in easy distance are the towns of Asti and Alba. Let's take a look inside. First you have this little seating area, then comes into the kitchen. The furniture can be bought with the house. It's not included in the price, but that can be talked about. If you wanted to buy everything, then that's possible. You could buy even the cups and the plates. Everything can be sold, uh, but that's something that you can talk about, depending on your taste. But the kitchen is very nice. It would be worth getting the kitchen with the house, I think. Everything is in good condition, well kept. The house was restored relatively recently, so it's all in good condition. And then from the kitchen, we go into the living room. And what I love about this room is a really high ceiling. It really gives it a great sense of space. The room floods with light. You can see there's a kitchen through there. There's another doorway that leads to the front of the house as well. And just another scan round of the room so you can really get a sense of its, uh, its size. And then we go up this little stairway and we come to a laundry and here is the heating system. It's a gas system, mains gas system, uh, methane, uh, but there are also solar panels for heating the water. And you can see this part of the building is a little bit older, it has the, uh, the wooden beam ceilings and then there's a, a WC there with shower. And now if we go upstairs. To the left, we have a bathroom. We'll see that in a moment, but we have this uh, very nice uh, bedroom. It's not massive, but it's a good size. And then beside this is this beautiful bathroom, a proper antique bathroom, very nicely done, with these beautiful floor tiles, an old bathtub, And then from here, we can go on to the balcony that runs along the front of the house. And uh, this leads to another terrace. We can see that tree really needs to come down. But see here again, spectacular view over the countryside. Uh, the video really doesn't do it justice. You really have to visit in person to appreciate how beautiful this place is. Now back inside, if we come to the top of the stairs and do a right, we come to this little room. It's, it's done in an unusual colour. It's, it's actually quite nice, but it's a bit dark, I think, for my taste. Um, but it has these beautiful uh, vaulted ceilings, and it could be a nice uh, living room or a studio, an office space. All the windows and doors are double glazed.
There you go, look at those ancient ceilings, really beautiful, very deep vaults, quite, quite unusual actually. Now if we go up this little flight of stairs, we come to another little small bedroom. Again, it's done in this dark colour, so not so beautiful at the moment, but uh, it was her son's bedroom, and it has this little terrace, a wooden terrace, that again has the beautiful view. The neighbour to the right, the house is in perfect condition, they really look after it, so you know you have good neighbours, and as I say, they just come occasionally, they, they live in Torino. Now we're back down to ground level, and let's have a look at this little secret room. What do you think? It used to be a wine cellar, and they excavated it, and restored it, and it's something really beautiful. It has all the plumbing there to enable a kitchen, so you could make this an independent apartment. It has heating system. It really is a beautiful space. It could be used as office space or for your guest accommodation. Maybe you could even rent it. The location of the house is, uh, is, is excellent. You're in easy distance of the Barolo area, uh, easy distance of Asti and, and these beautiful towns around, uh, like I said, like Canale, San Damiano. Very, very nice towns. There's something really to be discovered. And there's a bathroom with a shower, WC and hand basin. And then we come back out onto this terrace immediately outside. Again, the beautiful view. Imagine sitting here with a glass of wine, watching the sunset. Absolutely beautiful. This uh, grey wall, this cement wall, you could do something with that. I have a friend in Asti that does the Banksy-style murals if you wanted something like that. Or you could clad it in stone. We have builders that are able to do this. Or you could just paint it. But you can see it's a really beautiful space. This uh, big carport is, is really handy uh, for parking your car under. And, and that's the house. Let's do a flyover again. Imagine with that tree gone. And it's a, a beautiful little hamlet. Very quiet. Some very nice houses here. You can see that people really care. And it's within five minutes of San Damiano and surrounded by these beautiful, beautiful rolling hills. I live just over the next hill, so I can tell you from personal experience, it's a really beautiful place to be. If you need more information, don't hesitate to contact me or click on the link below that leads to my website for photographs and more information. I look forward to hearing from you. See you in the next video.